look at the URL bar www.venomfangxsite.com I'm going to hit enter now and it will load the website again even though it's already loaded but just to make sure that it's not some spoof website or something this is venomfangxsite.com you can go to view page source it is venomfangxsite.com next time he wants to claim that he never had a PayPal that was suspended refer him to this video this is venomfangxsite.com I'm going to click on the donate button on venomfangxsite.com and it's going to take me to his PayPal this recipient is currently unable to receive money. Support at VenomFangXSite.com This is the warning that you get when the account you're trying to send money to has been disabled for a terms of use violation. This is not a fluke. This is the second time that this has happened. This happened as a direct result of your support, your emails, and your diligence. Give yourselves a round of applause. At least for now, this slimy little weasel can't receive other people's money to do with as he pleases. I'm very proud of you all. I haven't got a lot to say. This video was sort of made in haste, but I'm extremely proud of all of you. Congratulations and let's hope this one lasts. This is the second account that he's created, thus forcing him to falsify his information to a legal bank at least once. Maybe he'll do it again. I don't know if it's illegal, but I definitely know it's against the PayPal terms of service. And once you've done the same thing twice that's against their rules, they really start looking after you. In order to transfer money from one PayPal to uh, one bank account, one must uh, register that bank account specifically with your PayPal account. <clears throat> if you try to register that bank account with a different PayPal account, it will tell you your bank account is already registered with your PayPal account. Please log into that account. Now, when he goes to try to register or when he went to try to register his bank account with this new PayPal which is just shut down just now about an, about uh, two hours ago um, he had to provide bank details it would have told him you can't do that your PayPal is disabled and he would have had to create a new bank account now he will have to create yet a third bank account in order to bypass the PayPal terms of service he has forfeited all money in his PayPal account twice. That's unfortunate because it could have gone to the sick kid's hospital, but let's be realistic. That wasn't very likely to happen anyway. I encourage you all to take what money you can spare, don't want to be a financial burden of course, and donate $1, $5, $10 to the sick kid's hospital just to make sure that what little money may have been actually taken from him would not be taken from the sick kids hospital as always much love to you all and again great work everyone